All right, so what we have here, this is the 28 DBFQ. It's a very, very awesome bunkhouse layout. And it's awesome because it has two entrances. It has one for the bathroom, uh -huh. one for the living area. As you see, you get your huge awning with the LED lighting. As you see, during the daytime, you can't really tell, but that at night, it really lights it up. It does. It's... It really does. And it's not overbearing too. Yeah. So uh, what you also get underneath the awning is you get that small miniature outside kitchen so that's got a that's got a little cooktop in it okay, and it's also, got, um, it's also got it's also got oh this one has the sink this one's just the sink okay and then it's going to have the the refrigerator oh, oh yep, there, there it is, is. <laughs> there it is okay uh they, that's, they that's pretty cool space saving idea yeah thanks for the assist on that one um but yeah definitely you're getting that miniature outside kitchen out underneath the awning. Uh, typically when you see these outside kitchens, they're out away from the awning. So uh -huh. this is kind of nice that it's underneath. Right if it's raining, you can still come out here, cook your breakfast, things like that. You still get your outdoor speakers. So, you know, on, off your Bluetooth radio, you can play all of your music inside, outside, or even both. Okay. Um, you know, and it's got, it's got a pretty good range on it. I think the Puma, you can range out almost 40 I think maybe even 50 feet on the Bluetooth wow. uh, radio. So you can definitely get some range on that. Good. The one reason that I really like this layout being that it has the bathroom entrance, say it's a little bit muddy outside. You know, the kids, when they're coming in, they can kick their shoes off right there in the shower and they don't have to track it all the way through the trailer. Gonna make, gonna make somebody real happy that's gotta clean <laughs> exactly. this up. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, that's that's why I really love these two door layouts. And uh, if you don't mind, which really? what door do you want to go in? Well, let's go in this one. All right, right let's go in this one. Walk in through the, the bathroom. Let's go. All right. So it brings you in right here next to the bunks and into the living room. Now, um, in here, you're going to be able to go straight to your sofa. That's a jackknife sofa, so that's going to come down and you're going to be able to sleep one person on that comfortably or two small children, depending on how you lay them out. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you get that huge 80-inch dinette. Yeah. And the 80-inch dinette, that's, that's, I mean, that's a lot. Six feet, you know, that's 71 inches. Right. I can stretch out on that thing Yeah. and still have room. So uh, I like to call it the adult size dinette sleeper you get of course you get your storage and everything underneath mm -hmm. uh underneath the dinette and everything stows up real nice cool part about this is the double over double bunks um you get huge bunk the upper bunk has a 300 pound capacity i can sleep out i can sleep on that thing no uh -huh. problem and i'm i'm a big guy <laughs> uh so uh of course you get your ladder to go to the top and you actually um, and some models, I don't think this one does, but some models of these actually have uh, storage, storage up underneath. Okay. So uh, I don't think this one does, but mo uh, a lot of the other Pumas that have this will lay out. Feels good. Yeah, duct <laughs> ducted air conditioning so the kids won't get hot while they're sleeping. Uh, they get their charging ports in their bed. Same with the top bunk. Now, you still get your uh, 5,000 BTU. Uh, fireplace nice feature for a trailer that's you know at this price point and um, you know and you get your Bluetooth radio surround sound you got a big space for your TV and you get your uh, uh, residential sized refrigerator I believe this one is actually 10.7 cubic inch or it's an 11.7 uh, it's one of those two I can't think okay. of it off the top of my head but leading into the kitchen we have a nice little kitchen space here. So what makes it really great, and you may have seen these, I think you actually liked these the last time yeah, you were out here. Yeah, I'm fascinated These by things this. have so many purposes. It's probably, uh, next to the lights, it's probably my second favorite feature uh -huh. in all these trailers because, I, I mean, you can use it to beat your kids with. Don't, don't do that, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you can, you can use it to, uh, for a cooling rack. You can use it to put your cutting board over top of the sink. Uh, you can do all that stuff. And this is kind of a standard feature that's coming in all, a lot of these trailers nowadays. 
and uh, uh, and you know and, and over uh, your space over top of the stove it's actually pretty deep you know that's uh, that's probably about 15 inches deep in there so you know you definitely have enough space uh, put all your spices put all your dried goods up there and you're ready to go and of course you get storage underneath let's uh, check this out this is a cool little feature uh, next to this, it's called the pantry. Mm -hmm. So the pantry, you know, you have eye level shelves that you don't have to reach high, you don't have to reach low. It's really good ergonomically placed. So, you know, being in a trailer like this, you don't really have to try to reach things or try to stow things. Right. So that's just, they, the bunk houses are very, very family oriented. They're super easy to stow up things, super easy to sleep and that's why we sell a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, heading into the bedroom here. Now, somebody did the liberty of already showing you how much storage is in here. Um, you get this, and then you get that door. What's really cool in the thought is that you can open it from that side uh -huh. and this side, so it's, they don't open the same direction. Okay. It's just the thought, right? Uh -huh. You know, that it's very easy to, so she has her As side, you have your side, over and, exactly, yeah. and it's passed through. Mm -hmm. So this whole thing is a big shelf up here that you can utilize to load up. Okay. Then you get your wardrobe with your uh, rod in there, hang up your things, and this one actually has what's called a CPAP uh, shelf. Okay. So if you're asleep, if you sleep with a CPAP, mm -hmm. you can stow it right up under in that cubby and it's going to be nice out of the way and you don't have to mess with it right. um so really cool and of course you get your uh you get a vent here mm -hmm. and also I, I believe you can run a max air fan there if you okay. wanted to really good option i really recommend the max air fans um if you want to save on your energy uh you can run one of those max air fans instead of turn you can crack the win the window over here turn that fan on and it's going to move a lot of air. It's going yeah. to keep it fresh in here. You're not going to get the camp and funk. And what is that called? The Max? The Max Air Fans. Okay. We sell them. We install them. I do recommend having the shop install them. for. Uh, it's a little bit of an additional price, of course, to have right. it installed here, but highly recommend nice. them. Um, if, if the trailer doesn't come with them from, from the factory, I always tell my customers, you want it. Yeah. Because it's, to, it's, a, it's a good option all the way across the board. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the 28 DBFQ. It's a really great trailer. Um, good hitch weight. I think it's about 5,800 pounds. I'm not too sure on that. You might wanna give us a call if you really wanna know what the tow, uh, tow weight is on mm -hmm. this thing. Uh, but yeah, really cool trailer. We sell a lot of them. Perfect, and I see why. Yeah. I see why, it's nice. We stayed in the Puma, my wife and I. Yeah, came down, we came to yeah. The the, awesome. the Puma is the best way to get your family out for the cost effective money. Okay. Now, um, where we were talking about the XLR earlier being the cost effective toy hauler, uh -huh. this is probably the most cost effective, loaded wise, for a bunk model trailer. Okay. And I and this is it's super affordable. Uh, of course, you're getting that Palomino Puma name. They've been around forever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and their quality has not changed. So really cool, really awesome. cool trailer. It's awesome.